Hi, I'm John. I'm Karen. And we're Explore Traveler, and we're in Doha, Qatar. And uh, this is our very first time here. It's very exciting. This is a brand new journey into new territory. We're going to explore restaurants and food and culture and things that we have never seen before. We're going to show you what we see all along the way from architecture to famous sites. And since we don't know everything about the area, of course, uh, if you know places, the names of things, what they are, or any information, we would love you to comment. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell. Well, anyway, off to our journey. Travel on, everyone. Cheers. City Center. So you can see in the background, we're here along kind of the coastline and the inlet part. It uh, smells like fish. Definitely smells like fish, the sea. There's a lot of boats around here. And uh, there's just a lot of stuff going on in this particular area all around. We're not too far from the West Bay area of Doha. And we're just kind of going to go around and keep showing you everything that we see along the way. So I hope you enjoy all the buildings and the architecture and some of the cultural centers as we go. And the color of the water. Yeah, it's really nice, really beautiful. So the traditional boat, part of the city there. This whole area is reclaimed, is what he was saying, that they actually built this up. It was originally all the sea. What's this area called? Is that it? Yeah. Katara. Katara, yes. This is the Katara area. It's a very touristy area. There's a lot of people you can see the pigeons are going in and out. It's for pigeons. The birds, they go in and out. That's for birds. Yeah. So there's a lot of birds up there. in the market area. Yeah. Very close to that mask. That's a big pigeon mask. Tasty Street. Not open. Is that a covered bridge over the, the yeah. bay? Yeah. Wow. So, there's a couple of famous restaurants over here. Of course, everything's along the beach. So far, Karen? I think it's beautiful. There's something to see in every single corner. There's a lot of architecture, a lot of the um, kind of old meets new, a little east meets west going on here. They have unique art items. I mean, I don't know if it's Christmas presents, Christmas bulbs. Well, yeah, we're not sure, but we saw the falconry, 
a lot of the little pigeon houses, or I should say large pigeon houses. We're not sure why they have those yet, but we'll try to figure that out for you. Some of these areas are very green. They're using you know, sea water and turning it into fresh water. This is a nice park. You can see everything in the background. The park, everything is natural. Yeah, it's just absolutely beautiful. Some of this area was reclaimed, some of it is not, but uh, they've done a really good job building up the infrastructure. It's actually not that hot. Um, not as hot as... Right, it's a cool breeze. Yeah, it's a very cool breeze. It's maybe in the mid 80s at the most. So it's very comfortable. And no matter where we go, the water is always like a beautiful till blue green. It's nice. Yeah, it's really nice. shopping district called the Pearl. The marina at the Pearl. This is an area of condos and villas. Restaurants. Saw some antique stores, carpet shops. This is a living area slash shopping, eating community. See, that's one of the nice condos. We came in this direction. We kind of call it the keyhole. This is the Venice themed area. Qatar, or should say Abdoha, Qatar. So this whole area has its certain theme to it. And it even comes with its own Venice canals. We've got docks, so it might even have the old Roman moving you down the river. Hi, it's been a long day walking and it actually can get hot, especially if you're walking. Yeah, it's getting but warmer, but it's still in the not 80s. Not too bad. Uh, but it is a good time to stop at a cafe and get something to drink. This is Yasmin's Palace restaurant. Just the, the decor here is absolutely stunning. They have indoor and outdoor seating, probably outdoors for the evening time. As you can see, this is the main dining hall. So it's like almost like an art decor museum. This restaurant, but very nice. Okay, so we'll show you some of the food. After a long day of walking and exploring, we stopped at a really cool it's not a cafe, it's more like a palace. Have you ever tried a fruit that you have no idea where it came from? I feel like uh, Eve in the Garden of Eden. This right here, I have no idea what it is, but we're at the Jasmine Palace. Everything's a palace or a castle here. And I'm trying a fruit drink that I have no idea what it is, but it's sweet. It tastes like uh, a pomegranate and a cantaloupe, a papaya, <laughs> so many different things all at once, and a little splash of lemon in there too. Mm. 
the fruit I never knew existed. Cool. Okay, so this is what we ordered. To try a little bit of everything. So we're gonna try that. Got some sauces. Different kinds of breads. Still water. So this is a taste of Doha Qatar. Totally ready. I'm not sure which one I want to try. I think I want to try the beets. With my golden fork. What do you think? Is this a beet? Yeah, I think so. Mmm. They it? prepared it totally different. Is it a beet? It's a beet. It tastes like dinner rather than dessert. Mm. No vinegar. Mmm. Very good. Okay, so she tried the beets. I'm gonna try this, I don't know, deep fried. What do you think it is? Mmm. Chicken. Is chicken? Like a chicken fajita? No. It's like a an Arabic version of a mini burrito. I'm not sure how to describe it, but it's very good. Why don't you take your golden fork and put some of the orange stuff on it? What do you think that orange stuff is? I think that's spicy hummus. Is it really? Like paprika. Do you like it? Yeah, everything's very unique. It's good. Wow. Different in a, in a, in a different way. What about the thing that looks like it has a carrot on it? and a couple of pomegranate seeds. What do you think that is? All right, now, give Honestly, us the truth. I don't know what any of the half of this <laughs> stuff is, but it's kind of like, it's like, man, I don't know if it's supposed to go on the bread. Is it? It's got olive oil. Eggplant? Maybe. I mean, I yeah. recognize a few of these, but... Are we supposed to be eating all these things with bread? I think so. There's some bread that came with it. Or you try that some. all looks good. Take a piece of bread. Sure. Oh, I love this kind of bread. Mmm. <laughs> Mine is great. So I'm pretty sure this That's one here. Hummus. Oh, you can't go hummus. wrong with hummus. This hummus is a is normal great. hummus. What do you think? Is that good? Is it nice it, and creamy? The hummus is really good. This is kind of an unusual looking. Hmm. So what is it? Like a partially pureed vegetable dish with some spice to it. What? What kind of vegetable? Like cabbage or something? Okay, use the details. Eggplant, maybe? Really? That's eggplant? I think so. Is it spicy? No, it's not really that spicy. It's a, I mean, it's spice, but not, not hot. Now what, what would you call this kind of thing? This is um, Qatari food, I guess. <laughs> is it ancient Qatari food or modern? I think it's a combination of modern and old. Uh, would Aladdin eat this kind of stuff? Well, we're in Yasmin's palace, so I would say yes, Aladdin okay. would eat it. Okay. I'm gonna try some of those with some bread. Although, you know, you have to try one of those things wrapped in green stuff. That's which what I think is a great leaf. Yeah, we've had something like that before. We know those are good. Yeah, but you haven't had it in Qatar. And there's sauces. I bet those sauces are really good. Yeah, I'm keeping them by me. That's where all the good stuff is. 
<laughs> if you come here, you gotta try out Yasmin's Palace. Uh, we'll put a link in the description to the restaurant, but uh, definitely it's worth checking out. Can you believe all the fun stuff I, in fr I have in front of me? I've got this green stuff, and then I've got this other stuff, and this, and I've got all of these sauces. But I think I'm gonna try the green and see what that is. I think it's spinach. I think it's spinach, but it's prepared with olive oil, lots of garlic, definitely lots of garlic. I want to try some of this spicy hummus. I'm a sucker for spicy hummus. Mm. Good hummus. You think that's paprika? Lots of paprika. Maybe. Mm. And you know it tastes like it has Thai chilies in there too. Hmm. Okay. And then there's this thing right here. It's got all different colors. It's got orange, green, cream color. Do I dare? Salty. Vinegary. And it tastes totally of vegetable, like carrots and chives and cauliflower. Okay. Let's rotate this a little bit. What one did you like? They're all you know, good. we never did try these sauces over here. And I think we're supposed to be eating these with the bread. Okay, the green sauce. Okay, I could live on the green sauce. What is it? Not mint or anything? It's like toasted sesame really? with hummus. Wow. That is really good. And, uh, okay, what do you think? Is this hot? Or is it just the color? Probably the color. Wrong. That's hot. Hot. Yep. Silly. I can do it. Hmm. I like Thai chilies. That's good. Did you want to try one of these? Which one looks good? Oh, okay. I gotta try the pink one. Don't they do a nice presentation? I mean, all these different little dishes and all the breads. It's beautiful. I cannot tell you what that is other than that it's good. I, it is possible they mashed up beets and did something really cool with it. But it is kind of a beet color. Hmm. Yes. It's beets and a little vinegar and would go great on a tuna salad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I really like it. Uh, okay, I, I want to try the last one. That is a yogurt and herbs. That would go good with any bread. Yeah. Mm. So I have this puff ball here. I believe it's like minced lamb. Oh, that is the best. Mm. 
It's exceptionally good. What did you try with it? Put some of that yogurt dip garnish on it. Okay, you have to try this one right here. Did you know this one? that that is smoky? You know, you didn't mention that that has such a smoky flavor. It's really good. Can you taste the smoke in it? It's an unusual flavor. I don't actually know what it is. There's some of the, there's a lot of unique spices in this stuff. Isn't that amazing? Let me try this one. Like coliander. Oh. oh, you have to try the uh, the red one. All right, this is the one. Yeah, that one's a little hot. Tastes like Thai chilies and paprika and maybe a little hummus. It's not really spicy hot. It's very unique though. I think it's got some like um, tomato paste in it. You think so? Yeah. Combination. There's definitely spices in it. There's okay. so many flavors. You have to compare their traditional hummus to hummus that we've tried in Jordan, Israel. How creamy it is. Well, they're all pretty creamy. Is it tangy? Mm. Is it flavored with garlic or lemon? What do you think? Is I kind of feel creamy? like the um, hummus here is maybe a higher quality. Yes, it is pretty good. It's not just good, it's just, I don't know if they're selecting a higher quality of beans to make it or, or what, but it's exceptionally good. The, the olive oil tastes very good. You know, it would be uh, also everything together. A really nice tasting olive oil. You know, I know what makes it. It's the golden knife and the golden fork. Yep. Well. You know, they I have a unique takes... salad over here with uh, green stuff and tomatoes and onions. Mm -hmm. Wow. So many tastes in one bite. You know, these two pop things right there, I bet you they've got meat in them. In the middle bowl. What do you think? I don't know. Try you know, one. beets one are really good for beets. you. I forgot what they do, but they do something really important. I'd have to look it up on the internet. <laughs> but they're supposed to be really good for you. It's definitely beets. I'm gonna try one of these. Oh, that's one. That's one something that we haven't tried yet. Yeah, those are supposed to be really tasty. Hmm. So what's inside? I have no idea. What do you mean you have no idea? Is it meat? Vegetable? I'm pretty sure it's vegetable. Really? It's very unusual. I don't have a lot of comparison. How do you compare something you don't have anything to compare it to? This is our first time in Qatar, so we're not sure what some of this stuff even is. I like that. I like trying new things. Oh, you have to get one of these puff pastries in the middle and see what's inside. Let's see. That's what it looks like. Oh, 
there totally is. Oh, you know, they do a great job here with cheese and bread. I bet that's delicious. What do yeah. you think? It's a soft cheese. Really? Yeah. Is it's it, very good. Is it spicy, tangy, no. No. flavored? Is it just cream cheese? It's not normal cream cheese. It's creamy, but I'm not sure what kind of cheese it is. That looks pretty good. Now, which one of these condiments would you dip it in? Mm, none of them. It's good none by itself. Them? Really? So many flavors. It's hard to... Okay, of the three different things, which one was your favorite? The chicken, the lamb, or the... Uh, cream cheese. I think I really like that lamb, the, the puff ball with the uh, yogurt sauce on top. Oh, that would be good. Sure. I tried this earlier. This is that spinach dish. It's very good. Yeah, I definitely have to recommend people come here and check this place out it's just the food's great service is very good and the ambiance is amazing they put a lot of effort into the decorations I would have never thought of putting corn with the beets and pomegranate seeds with a salad that is pretty fun me that um, herb. This one? Yes. I'd like to try it. This is like yogurt. I'm going to try this. little pop pastries over here. This other uh, bread. Give me some hummus. Wow, that is so tangy. I like it when it's tangy. Mm, this tastes more like a normal, almost Mediterranean lot bread. After trying every single one of the dishes and loving every single one in a different way, we get to try dessert. And so I get to be the first one and use my golden fork. And this is, what is it? Kanafa. Kanafa. Kanafa with cheese. Kanafa. Kanafa with cheese. I mean, does that sound good or what? Uh, well, anyway, hmm. it looks all pretty. Okay, it's hard on the outside, kind of like a bird's nest. And then it's got the cheesy stuff on the bottom. I'm not sure what is the green stuff on the top. I think it's pistachios. Pistachios. Okay, look at this. Can you see the cheese coming up? I mean, does that look good? I mean, does that look good or what? I am totally not hungry, but who can't eat this, <laughs> no matter what. All right, I'll, I'll try it. Hmm, well, I like it. Oh yeah, we should have started with dessert. The cheese, not too sweet. The bird's nest stuff, whatever that is is sweetened with honey and some other spices and but the but the cheese is a little bit sweet but it all goes well together you know what i'm thinking i need a good cup of coffee with this <laughs> uh, instead 
This is concluding our day. I'm gonna have fun. Wait a second. Let's toast with our bottle of water. Cheers to a nice long day. Blessings. We've enjoyed all the sights. There's something to see every step you go. And yeah, this is the Pearl. Restaurants, condos, villas, very popular. Very a lot colorful. of people living around here. Just normal life. And gold, and bronze, and all different kinds of personality. Yeah. Well, anyway, so much to see. We're tempted to walk more, but uh, time, time to take to a stop. break. And we'll see you a little bit later on tonight. Blessings.